All right, welcome back to Off the Tap. This week is episode 29, and we're doing Dogfish Head Sea Quench Ale. It's sequential. It is sequential. I thought it was very clever when I was when I was grabbing it. I don't like how it smells at all. Really? It doesn't it smell bad to me. me. It smells well, I mean, I smell the limes, which I like, but I'm scared whenever it says session sour. I don't even know what the hell that means, but I don't imagine I want a sour beer in my... Oh, man. Upsetting see, my sour stomach. See, Szechuan I love sour. Isn't session sour like the thing that... No, it... Szechuan sour. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I was like, isn't that the Mulan sauce from Rick and Morty that they sold at McDonald's? Nah, <laughs> no, Szechuan. Szechuan beef, that's... bro. No, what is that? What, what is that called? It was Szechuan. Szechuan sauce. She... Is it Szechuan? Session oh, sour. I'm I'm thinking of the scene from Grown Ups where he's talking about like Saskatoon or whatever. Yeah, uh, you know, no, what I'm talking session about? sour just reminded me of Szechuan sauce. No, see, I really like this because I really like sour beers in general. But this I was is really, really hoping nice. when I open it has C in it. You know, it's like sequential dogfish head. I was really hoping when I open it, it'd be like, <laughs> like <laughs> could you hear the waves? Sounds like the beach. Yeah, it's like putting a a shell up to your ear. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I want to try it. I haven't even smelled it yet. It no, smell bad. you don't like it, Andrew. No, dude. I, I, before oh, I try, I like it. <laughs> it tastes a lot like lime to me. I've it's never, got good flavor, but I don't like sour, dude. I don't want to. I've drink never tried sour. any. Uh, never tried any dogfish head beer before. This will be my first. Me either. <laughs> most most of the other ones that I saw that they had were IPAs. Doesn't smell bad. Let me try. Well, that's different. I kind of like it. I I, lo- I love sours. I feel like if I if I get enough of this in my stomach, I like, I will just like tomorrow morning like it's gonna be like curdled milk. Yeah, just oh. really. <laughs> Dude, it's different. I kind of like. It. I've never had a sour either. Mm, I've never had one out of a can. I've only ever had them draft from the. Mm. In fact, hey, well, the first the first sour I ever had was from B fifty two and Conroe. It was pretty good. I've had some is, other ones from is. out of state from a tap room as well that were really it's delicious. Me, it's really making me pucker. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like you drink it and your, you know, your, your cheeks come inside your mouth, you know? Cheeks on, the cheeks on your face. Cheeks on your face. It's, it is very, um, I just got a, a taste of a oh, lot yeah. of salt on this. It, on this it tastes like sip. super lemony lemonade. It's limey. It's very limey. Yeah, but it tastes like lemonade. I like it. I just... Mm. Uh, Andrew, did you get a mount for your microphone? I've had one. Have you really? Yeah, I just never usually put it this low, but with the audio issues we've been having, I brought, I moved it down. I was gonna say you look like the the what, some of the bloopers in the movies where like the dude's got the boom arm and he like accidentally lowers it too low <laughs> to the scene, you know? <laughs> it's just like right over your forehead. Yeah, you do. It's like actually that. like it's actually only even with like right here on my face. It just yeah. the, the optic the, your purse your perspective yeah your perspective yeah Yeah. (laughs) well i really love the color on this can me too this this is probably my this is one of my favorite colors in general it's like a aqua teal yeah looking color yeah i like it kind of matches my hat it does it actually kind of it kind of goes actually looks my koozie almost yeah well, definitely with the theming, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't even know that black limes were a thing. Me either. Yeah, I don't. Need, I, is it just like a, a expired lime? Yeah, maybe. Could be what it is. <laughs> Could be. That's what makes this thing sour. Maybe it's like grown by a volcano or something. So the, <laughs> yeah. the volcanic like the soil ash. has very has a lot of pH in the soil, something like that. That's what I'm going that, with. That's why it's so sour. Yeah. See quench ale. They didn't have to do us like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does that even mean? What does sequential even mean? It means like it's needed. It's right. No, I think sequen- that's essential. Se- sequential is like in order, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like is sequence. It? Unless you add con in front of it, consequential, right? Right. All right. That's yeah. how Andrew's gonna be feeling <laughs> after the sour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. The yeah. stomach's gonna be turning. I don't think it really uh, agrees with my lime juice, stomach. lime peel, black it lime, with me. sea salt. 
I like it. There's a lot going on on this. I think I have a different can as the graphic. Then, like, maybe it's a, an older can or something, but there's a lot going on on the can regardless. It's also brewed in Delaware. Isn't that Delaware D-E? I think that's Delaware, huh? <laughs> Unless it's Denmark. I mean... Nah, I don't I think, think they Delaware. abbreviate... I don't think they follow the two-letter abbreviation system <laughs> outside of America. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we like to do things differently here. Okay, yeah. ABVs. All right. I'll go first, I guess. Uh, I never had a sour before, but it doesn't taste very heavy. Probably like a 4.4. 4. So probably some, something like a, like a light beer. 4.4. Yeah, I'm gonna go 4.8. I think on on mm-hmm. my on my guess. Uh, oh. well, y'all are probably gonna be pretty spot on. So I'm gonna 4.6. What the difference? All right. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You know when? Uh, you know how sometimes when you have really bad beers on this podcast, and it just gives like you take a drink and you're like, oh god, and your face tenses tenses up. Mm-hmm. That's what happens with this one. When I drink it, my entire face tenses up, but then I like it. So it's it's surprising. You know what it tastes like to me? Hmm. Like a really limey puke. Gross. (laughs) That's not at all what it tastes like. I think yours is expired. Mm. You might want to check the uh, you might want to check the dates on yours, brother. It's uh it's four point nine percent, by the way. Oh so I win. Man, it's been a minute since I won, eh? I think Randall cheated. I think he did too. How? <laughs> what did I do? I think you looked at it and then you just tried to play it off by guessing one number lower. No. I think that's what happened. I did, I can't even see it on this graphic. Randall probably cheats every week because he's got to upload the picture to the to the podcast and then he got to upload it to Instagram and he's <laughs> getting the beers. You know, he did, yeah. he just one out of three times he he gets it right. I definitely, I definitely cheat on some of them. Well, since I accuse you of cheating, I'm going to drink. You didn't tell me to. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do yeah, it. I'm going to order you to drink. Andrad, I'm going to make you shotgun. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do it, dude. <laughs> no, I'm not going to make you do that. Dude, I like it. I've never, I've never had a beer like this before. And the fact that I've never had a beer like this before makes me want to rate it like a 9.1. Mm-mm. Mm. No. Just Is that really what you're going to rate it, though? I think so. Just because I like it, and it's like something new. It's like, imagine trying cane sauce for the first time. You'd be like, well, well. actually, I think the first time I had cane sauce, I didn't like it. So the difference between example. cane sauce and this is, uh, cane sauce is uh, pretty good. So. Actually, the difference is the ingredients, but we're not going to get into yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> or like, imagine, imagine trying a cheeseburger for the first time after you've been eating chicken sandwiches your whole life. You'd be like, whoa, this is good. And it's so much different that I like it. So mm-hmm. that's how I feel about this. Mm. It's like yeah. all the flavors that you would love inside of like a margarita mixed with like a Dos Equis mixed with like a sparkling water. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of what it tastes like. It tastes like, like a lime Perrier. Yeah, but w- with like some uh, some sour in it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That with, is, like that some war- a- with some warheads in it. Yeah, with like a lime flavored warhead soaking in it. You're giving me some ideas. I'm about to go to the store. <laughs> Listen, what happened to warheads? I don't know, they're still around. I, so you get, think you still, I think you can still get the bag of them. You know, the bag where you've got the black yeah. cherry in there? You know, I just don't think you search for them. If y'all ever find them, grab me a bag because I want, I want to ruin my week of tasting well, things, I, is what I want to do. <laughs> I haven't seen I a bag remember, in a yeah. long time. But After you have like a whole bag of them things and your mouth is just destroyed you can't feel anything numb you can bite your (laughs) tongue in half and you wouldn't be able to feel it Mm -hmm. i've seen tubes lately i think the oh no let's remember time no it's like a it's warheads and they're like wrapped in the warhead packaging but instead of a bag it's in like a long like foot long tube full of Mm. warheads i've seen those recently why do that why would they serve it like that i feel like a bag is significantly cheaper yeah significantly cheaper to process and it's easier to store yeah. <clears throat> Ergonomically, you know, just doesn't make sense. But I don't know. 
What's some sea topics? We need sea topics to talk about. Well, first, What's a dog we're, we're going to need Andrew to give a rating on it. I'm, oh, yeah. I, honestly, yeah, I'm going 9.1. I'm sticking with that. Okay. I didn't hear yours, Randall. You rated it? No, I was going to wait for you, but I'll go. I'll, I'm going to go 8.3 on mine. I, I don't like a sour, I don't think. Um, however, I do think for a sour, I like the flavors that this one has in it, the vibe it brings. So I will give it like a like a 6.2. Okay. okay. You know what it also reminds me of? You know when you take a lemon drop shot and then you suck on the lime afterwards? But you still mm -hmm. have some of the lemon drop in your yes. mouth. Yes. And it's combined. Yes. That's exactly what this tastes like. Yeah. To, to compare it to like actual like drinkable liquid. Something you've had. It tastes like. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I, it okay. does make my mouth pucker up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting you to rate it a little lower, Andrew, but I, I, I appreciate you well, not, I think, not blowing the rating out of the water. Well, yeah, because I, I think. I think it's just me not liking a sour. I don't think this beer should suffer because I don't like sours. Whenever I think it's actually got like a decent flavor to it, you know. Okay, I can give flavor it flavor is good. Just not you. Just don't like sour things in general. Well, no, I do. Like, um, like sour patch kids or warheads, you know, things like that. But I just I don't think a sour drink is, I is my you. thing. I can I can see where Andrew's coming from though, because y'all both it? really like y'all both like the. Uh, the dragon's Stout. milk, and I was, y'all were like, Yeah, this is pretty good. And I was like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> not even like a sour snow cone, dude. No, hell no, you like pickles. Uh -uh. Oh my god, I love god. pickles, like dill pickles, but dill pickles that's different, bro. That's different. Have you ever had a pickle flavor snow cone? Uh, you no, you get a pickle flavor snow cone, put some tahini I, I on there. I, I don't think I would ever do that. That sounds awful. It's fantastic. Do you like pickle pops? Never had one. Never had a pickle pop. Do you no. like pickle juice? Uh, -huh. uh I do. Is like, um, uh, like I've I've had a sip of pickle juice to follow um, a vodka shot, like a pickleback. I don't know what that is. I think a pickleback is whiskey. Not. No. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I know it's when you follow a shot with pickle juice. I just don't know what kind of yeah. shot it is. Fun fact: I'm pretty sure that's Matthew McConaughey's favorite drink. What? Pickleback? No, I could be wrong. So you're calling you're, you're calling it a pickleback, and so if you chase a shot with a pickle juice, it's it's a pickleback. Well, I think I pickleback is specifically like some type of alcohol with pickle juice. I think it's whiskey, but I don't know. Huh. So you're ch you're following an alcoholic drink with an alcoholic drink. I like it. <laughs> no, you're following an alcoholic drink with just pickle juice. That's what I was just saying. Okay, but you're saying what you're saying is you have to do it after whiskey in order for it to be a pickleback. I think so. Okay, gotcha. I was I'm thinking totally like sure so if if I do it with vodka, it can't be a pickleback. It could be. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. All right. Well, you should figure that out before you. <laughs> There's also a pickle beer that's brewed in I think like Fort Worth area or something. Mm. I would uh, try that. That tastes like pickle juice, but it's Are you also saying, I, I've had, I've, I think I've had a sip of it, and it was disgusting. Oh, I love it, dude. And here's the thing, too, is I hate pickle juice. And this really? tastes just like pickle juice. You don't mm. like pickle juice? No, I can't just drink it out of the jar. I can't. No? Do you like pickle no. pops? I I probably might now, but I didn't really like them growing up, no. Yeah, dude, you got a, a good old pickle pop. You just come off a, just come off a, uh, a double to right field, get stranded on base, come back in. You pulled your hammy, take a pickle pop to relieve a little bit of the tension in your thigh. No, see, those I never were the did days, that. man. I never like did seven that. years old. <laughs> seven years oh, old, nice. getting, dude, getting crazy like, like 20, that, bro. Over there at the, uh, at the old baseball field, at the old little league baseball field, they were like twenty five cents a pop. Oh, so. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll tell my mom to go grab me six of them. Bro, they used to do us <laughs> dirty at the at the elementary school field days, though. Those pickle pops mm -hmm. were like a dollar a pop, and I'm like, bro, you can make those things for like four cents. <laughs> Probably less than that. <laughs> Turning a 96-cent like, yeah. profit per pop, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. 
I want some margin. I, want, I like the margins on that. That's what yeah. I'm saying, bro. 96%? Shoot. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. If you all really like these, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have five, four or five extra in my fridge after this. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Well, let's get I'm to some that. sequential topics. Mm, okay, well, what's first then? What the hell's a dogfish? You don't know what dogfish is? It's kind of like a shark. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So like, uh, whenever they go fishing for like tuna and shit, like off out of. Uh, like Gloucester, Massachusetts, they go out fishing and they'll catch dogfish on their lines and they it pisses them off because it screws up all their lines. Hmm. Um, but they're like little shark, pain in the ass sharks, I guess. I, See, I, I, was, like... I was definitely going more or less on the line of like cat dog. Mm. It's like a oh, hybrid yeah. half, dog, half fish. Half dog, half fish. <laughs> well, it could oh. be that too. If, you're, if you want to go like uh, urban legend. Yeah. But then like which half is which, you know? The front half is the dog, the back half is the fish. But which side is the front and back? The head. The head is the front. Well, they both have heads. And then it's the body of a fish. Yes. Yes. See, but it wouldn't it almost oh, I was still be thinking, like way funnier for the body to be the dog and the head to be the fish? I was still thinking because uh, technically cat dog. this is dogfish head. Uh yeah, so it would have like a dogfish. It would have head. like a dog body with a fish head. Dog well, fish head. Well, the 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 th- but and I'm thinking like I a w- wiener dog. I want. I would want. I would want it to be. Like, I I was thinking like French bulldog front half, right? With like just the front legs of the oh, French so you're bulldog, including the leg, and then, a, and then, a and then and, in the back. Yeah, it's like a, a mermaid, but a dog. Yeah, it's a mer dog. Yeah, <laughs> Murdoch. Yeah, but it's a French bullfish. What does that sound like? A fantastic WWE name. It's a French bullfish. And that that and even sounds like a <laughs> out of the blue corner. Murdoch. No, that's, that's not <laughs> that's not WWE. <laughs> I thought dog when it, when I saw dogfish, I was thinking of, I think I'm thinking of like stonefish, the poisonous ones. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. like live in the rocks. Maybe I've heard them called. Maybe they're like called rockfish too, or something like that. But when I was thinking, when I was thinking dogfish, like lion the ones fish? That like, like lionfish, yeah, I was thinking like a lionfish, like they have mm. the spines on their back, and if you like step on them, it's like super poisonous. Yeah, you like die in like five yeah. minutes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. It's probably what's in here. The lionfish is also the plot to one of the best. Um, oh man, I can't think of the actor's name now. Uh, Deuce Bigelow, Mel Gigolo. Mm. Have you ever seen that? Never movie? Seen it. Yeah, uh, <sighs> the dude who plays him. Yeah, what's his name? He's in uh, Benchwarmers. He, yeah, he plays as Gus, right? Grown he's Gus. Ups. Yeah, he's in Grown Ups. Oh, you're talking about... Uh... What is that guy's name, man? Oh, man. I would remember it if I would run through like a sequence of events in my name. Um, Ron? Ron something? Schneider. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider, yeah. Rob Schneider, yeah. It's all, The Lionfish is also... Pretty much the core plot of Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Mm. Really? Kind of. Oh, I got some salt that time. He uh, he's like house sitting for this Gigolo, and uh, he's oh, taking care of taking care of his fish and stuff because that's what he does. And he has a lionfish in his tank in the house, and the tank breaks, wow. and the lionfish dies a different kind of death that I won't. I won't express, and he has to find another lionfish and fix the fix the that tank before the guy gonna, gets home. I remember that. Yeah. It's probably going to be too easy to do. It's not. It's not easy. But for about like twenty six hours, twenty eight hours, he's living his best life of all time. He's <laughs> yeah. he's posing as a gigolo and getting to be with all these women and live in a mansion. Basically, it's kind of like our podcast. How there was like the the plot was the dogfish, or not the dogfish, the lionfish, and then it ended with the lionfish, and there was just basically the entire movie was what happens in between. It's kind of yeah. like our podcast. We start with the beer and end and with the beer. But our entire sense. podcast, our entire podcast is ninety percent of our podcast has nothing to do about the beer. Yeah, no, but ten no, percent no, just not. split between the beginning and the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
this beer would be so good if it wasn't a sour, man. Like if they just had all these flavors in a regular beer, it would be my favorite beer. Andrew, Andrew, I want you to stop stop thinking about the sour. Just delete the word sour from your brain and think salt when you take a drink of it. Just think, just think salt and take a drink of it. Just okay, well then it's salt too salty. Over. No, just do it. Think <laughs> ocean. Repeat salt over in your head while you take a drink. Yeah. Um, think ocean. Do it. I want to watch you do it. So you think you you want me to think I'm drinking ocean water? Yeah, I'll tell you to do it. Randall, do tell it. him to do it. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> I'll do it with you. Mm-hmm. I'll do it with you. Just think salt. Ready? Three, two, one, salt. Just trying to do like <laughs> no, a little. He's having a worse time than he was before. <laughs> still, still not good. It's like it's like when you finish the box of McDonald's fries and there's all the salt oh. in the bottom and you just yeah. tip it back. No, the best like, thing in the world is it. the best thing in the world is when you eat the whole bag of pretzels, right? And the pretzel salt's at the bottom. Oh my god! Oh, you yeah. have a death wish, dude. Oh, yeah, yes, dude. When, that's bold. You know the you know the little bags of pretzels that they give you on the airplane. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's with those, and you just lick your pinky and shove it in the, in the, in the bottom <laughs> corner of the bag and yes. get it out. And there's no uh, better. The ride. There's no better chip or like you know chip bag tip than the hot Cheetos, dude. Oh yeah, bro. Hot Cheetos when, are just undefeated. When you finish a bag of hot Cheetos and there's just all that dust in the bottom, and you're like, yeah, dude. Have you had hot Cheeto puffs? Dude, I yes. can eat all this I hot. Know. Wait, stuff. what? Hold on. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hot yeah, Cheeto dude. puffs? They have hot Cheeto puffs, bro. Me and Madison had a bag the other day, and now, and then for like, probably, I don't know if we still like them, if we still had them, but for like four weeks, probably like a month, they were like our favorite chip. Oh my god. Well, see, I can eat a lot of hot things, but for some reason, hot Cheetos are just hot, the, one of the hottest things on earth to me. <laughs> well, they're not that hot until you eat like ten of them, and that eleventh one is what makes it hot. <laughs> also the biggest problem is that when i used to eat them and that you know when it used to be really hot to me i would eat them and i would drink like coke with it you know oh, or like yeah. sprite uh-huh. or like where the acid, drink acid carbonation doesn't help at all no yeah. but now that i pretty much just drink water aside from yeah. beer pretty Dude, much just thing, water it's mm, one of the best so things that goes with, with hot cheetos is either a lemonade or a blue power raid Dude, both okay, of those things, no, bro. fantastic combination. That's because Blue Powerade almost goes with anything, bro. Blue yeah. Powerade is, I'm starting to get much bigger of an appreciation for that drink. It's it, it, it's a game changer. I had, I had a drink the other day at the bar called a Texas Patriotic Punch. Oh, yeah? And it was <laughs> vodka. It, you? It, was, it was vodka, cranberry juice, Blue Powerade, and a dash of Sprite. God. Was Ted Nugent your waiter? So it was an ocean water with vodka. Yeah. And cranberry, a little dash of cranberry juice. But the cranberry juice was at the bottom, and then it was like, it was red and blue and white. Well, I got a question. Mm -hmm. Let's let's take a poll. Because over here in the uh, Shaw household, uh, we have a running debate on which one's better. I think we already know the answer. But one of us refuses to drink the other thing. Which one's better, Gatorade or Powerade? Gatorade. Uh, I'm going Powerade. Uh, yeah, dude, that's a tough one. Um, I I'm gonna have to go. I'm I'm. Which one's the white one with the cherry? I believe that's Gate. Well, maybe probably both. Both. <laughs> I think both, both have, they both have the same flavors, dude. <laughs> Gatorade has the big G on it, and Powerade. I doesn't. know. Um, uh, if I had to blue place Gatorade my vote, versus blue Powerade. If I had to, t- if I had to place my vote, Powerade all day. You want to know why I go Gatorade? Why? Because of the purple Cause... flavor. No, they both have the purple flavor is good. They the purple flavor is good. But the squirt bottle. The squirt bottle's oh, yeah. a, a fantastic selling work. point. It's a fantastic selling point. That and does give it, it a fits look, in the cup holder. Am I having deja vu, or we haven't talked about this before? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't so. think we've talked about it on here. If we have, Dude, I, I think we had the. I th- I thought we talked about this, and y'all had the same points: the purple flavor and the squirt bottle. I could have swore, or I'm having a really good deja vu. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Edge dreamed about this last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, if, I, 
I the like Gatorade, but if and, I had to and vote, and the fact that the squirt bottle fits in the cup holder in the car, I do agree. Powerade does not fit in your cup holder. I can attest to that. And neither do the big Gatorade bottles, though. Either. No. Well, the but, reason why Powerade is my winner is because in high school on Fridays, Micah and I would do what we would call, not Micah and I, an individual at the high school and I would do what we called "fuck it Fridays." Which is where we would we would get a Powerade and put some vodka in it, and you would uh, and you would fuck it, and, and you would yeah. you would place your wiener inside. The, no, I'm joking. <laughs> we would just drink that at school. That I figured burn, I could bro. Bomb did, so. I don't. Huh? Th- I don't think we should tell those kind of stories. <laughs> well, you know, it could be true. It could not be true. This is true. This could just be a clout chasing thing. You know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. But. Uh, <laughs> To be honest, the past couple of times I've gotten Powerade. I've never bought the bottle anyways. It's always draft from the gas station. If you can call that draft. Fountain. They have they have, guess, it's more appropriate. they have fountain Powerade. Yeah. At the Valero and the Speedy Stop. Okay. You know what? The one thing about that is that when it's out of the fountain, it's always too watery to me. Ah, that's what makes it good, dude. No, it's like watered down Powerade, man. Well, Powerade's um... pretty much just watered down Gatorade, so... Gatorade's like drinking straight acid. I don't think they taste almost like the exact same to me. No, they don't. I, 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 yeah. I've never, I guess I've never really had them like back to back or like, you know. Powerade's got a completely distinct flavor. I don't know. I think that if you poured two separate cups, one of blue Gatorade and one of blue Powerade, I would not be able to tell you the difference. I don't like the, sh- I don't like the shape of the Gatorade bottle either compared to the Powerade bottle. Me either, but neither of them fit inside a cup holder in the car, so it doesn't matter. But I would t- well, what blue? Are you talking about the the light blue Gatorade and what blue? I'm talking Powerade? about the standard blue Gatorade and the standard blue Powerade. Oh, they taste so different, dude. They taste so different. I think I don't dude. think I would be able to tell you the difference. Oh yeah, you would. You would if you drank them side by side. Yeah, I give Gatorade some points uh, because neither one of them fit in the cup holder. But if you turn Gatorade upside down, if you turn them both upside down, Gatorade would fit better in the cup holder. It would stay better. Yeah, <laughs> it, would, it would go further into the cup holder. But one yeah. one thing I, one thing I do also give to Gatorade is I never once ever saw a Powerade bottle used as either a spit cup or a sunflower seed holder, whereas I have seen <laughs> infinite Gatorade bottles as both. Absolutely. You know why that is? Because no one buys Powerade. <laughs> No one buys Powerade bottles. No, because the the bottle is better shape for spitting in. Tis one because it doesn't get it doesn't get hung up on the skinny part on the inside of the bottle. Yeah, I was gonna say Powerade is just like a basically well, just so, a cylinder. Someone should have talked to the freaking engineers over at Powerade or something. Then you got to get those things in the cup holder. Man, <laughs> I used to spit my sunflower seeds in a Venom energy drink can. That's what I did. And if you're mm. spitting dip, you're reaching for whatever's closest. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. You're not, so what you're does that tell you? You're like, you're like, oh, my friend's water bottle? All right, that'll work. I, I also think, think here's, the biggest, here's the biggest selling point on which one I'm going to get. Which one's on sale at the time? That's true. And, yeah, and if which you want, it's ten for ten at Kroger. You know what I mean? Yeah, you walk, are you walking yeah. to gas station two for two fifty? You know? Yeah. Mm. If it's Gatorade, I'm getting Gatorade. If it's Powerade, I'm getting Powerade. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's ten for ten on select flavors. It's not all of the flavors. It's only like the generic, like yellow. Does yeah, Powerade even that. have a yellow? Uh, no. like a lemon lime? No, no. I don't think so. I think it's just I've blue, never red, seen... and like white. Maybe red, white, and blue. Purple. They have they have a grape. Purple. Yeah. I, don't I don't think know. They I've had their grape. Grape. In collaboration with National Aquarium. Wow. Oh, that's cool. I like this can a lot, bro. And I just opened up a second beer, so it can't be too bad. Man, right? I was about, to, know, I was about drink... to go get a second one too. I'm drinking a second one, so it's not horrible, you know. You know. Yeah. You know why I'm going to get the second one. What's your favorite sea animal? Hmm. Sea lion. Really? A sea lion. I is love sea lions. Sea animal. I love sea lions, dude. I think they're cool. I also really Why? like dolphins. Why? Just because they 
Because they do cool shows at the the zoo. <laughs> and at, at, at SeaWorld, they do cool shows. Uh, but my favorite animal I've ever been in the water with is by far a shark. Wait, you've been in the water with a shark? Yeah, I told you when I went scuba diving. We were on the edge of the reef and it swam right next to me. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have said this multiple times, uh, I feel like. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. I, that moment, I just felt like I wasn't the most powerful one there. I felt like it was an equalizing moment. It was, like, cool. It was a humbling moment for you? Yeah, it was It was, It was. was awesome. Peaceful, you know? Like, because it was like I was, I was so scared of seeing a shark when I went scuba diving. I was so scared. And then I'm down there, and one swims within three feet of me, and I'm like, oh, dude, that was the best moment of my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I got over a fear. I got over a fear. It was cool. Yeah, that's that's probably pretty cool. But, I'd, but I would I'd say just... I would say dolphin, shark, sea lion, sea turtle. I, I think I know what my least favorite sea animal is. What's that? Jellyfish. Stingray. I hate jelly. Only because of what they did to Steve Irwin. Yeah. Well. Dude. Well, you saw that. You saw that uh, orca get back at him for us, right? There's a video that said, said this one for Steve Irwin. It was an orca just tail slapping the stingray across the ocean. <laughs> no, I I also landed ne- whenever I was free diving. I landed next to a stingray that's as wide that was as wide as I am tall. No, no, like no joke, like dead no ass cap. true story. Yeah, no cap. Dead it ass was on as, God. Yeah, it was it was it was as wide from tip to tip as I am tall from feet to head. And I landed right next to its stinger, and it was buried in the sand, and it flew out it's, from under the sand. It was as wide as you are from base to tip. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, crazy. And it's even better. Right? It's even better if you trim the hedges, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think y'all just called out two of my favorite sea animals. I don't like. I'm not necessarily a fan of a stingray, but uh, I like manta rays. Manta rays are type. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Were they? Were they? Is that the ones that like move and like? A th- herd of those like are the ones that are like those are the ones that are like thirty feet long, like yeah. thirty foot wingspan. They're like I think they're blue and they have like the the antennas coming out the front and they like mm. they're like long as they tail. have no stinger though. Yeah, see, I like I really like jellyfish. I I like jellyfish if they're in like a little tank for me to look at, but I do not want to be in the water with one. Dude, when we were snorting in Florida, uh, first of all, whatever kind of I don't know if it's global warming thing or something or what but like jellyfish season came like a month and a half early so there was like thousands and hundreds of thousands probably millions of jellyfish like in and around florida when we went and so like oh yeah it sounds amazing every five feet you would see a jellyfish but they were like they're pretty much only at the surface like and most of them weren't even like the sting you kind of jellyfish but everyone was like (laughs) like it turned around there was like eight people on the boat and then there's like five people still snorkeling because of the jellyfish. And I was like, bro, what are y'all doing? These things are freaking badass. <laughs> just like, when do you ever, like, you see them in aquariums and shit, but when do you ever get to be in the ocean and just like go underwater and just look at a jellyfish like straight in the face? Like, oh, yeah. Square, it's up, it's... square up with a jellyfish. I, I don't really usually see them. I just feel them. Yeah, I didn't want to get oh, stung, no. but it was cool to look at them. I wouldn't have like played with it. Like, we're not going to be friends, but. Well, I will tell you this. I I I I do not stand for jellyfish. I'm gonna buy some for my house as like a decoration. What about box jellyfish, dude? Well, that those might be the decoration. Who knows? You know, dude. Yeah. If I yeah. can't pet it, a, it's not a pet. But if you have a sea creature, well, you that can have someone, If someone comes no, to rob you, you think about this. It. It's not a pet. Think about this. <laughs> if someone comes to rob you, right? And you don't have a dog, right? Or your dog's just really nice and it won't bite anybody. You might go out. You might go out too. But if Are you saying you're going to throw you a stick jellyfish? Your hand in there, you just stick your hand in a box jellyfish tank, grab about four of them out, and just chunk them at that dude's face, and he's dead in minutes. And so are you. Doesn't matter. At least he's not. At least I, would just throw the whole, I would throw the whole tank across the house. You, at the yeah. guy. you just keep a box of latex glove next to it. So you're like, hold on a second. Wait a second. Whoops. And stick your hand in there and throw them at him. You, oh, you slap Lord. the glove and the jellyfish goes, oh, shit. <laughs> it's time. They all link arms and form like You know the cool like, thing about box jellyfish? Gram. You want to know something really awesome about a box jellyfish? What's that? Hmm. It doesn't actually have to touch you to sting you. Oh, really? You just have to it, can sh- it, it can shoot its venom. Even more perfect. It's like John Wick of the ocean. 
Yeah, mm. it's it's a, a crazy that animal. Vicious dog, you know what I mean? It's a crazy yeah. animal. I think my favorite, like sea animal or whatever, I, I think it's got to be a hammerhead shark. Oh, yeah? I've oh. always been fascinated with hammerheads, ever since I was a kid, and I watched the movie Flipper. Did y'all yes, that? yes, I loved Flipper, dude. Andrew, really, seen you're a gonna movie. have to remind me. You're gonna have to remind me because I haven't it's seen the, this. Since it's it's the like guy from Lord of the Rings. What's what's his name? What's that actor's name? Mm. The I love Frodo. Flipper. Yeah, Flipper. The, no, awesome. not not. Uh, yeah, yes, Frodo. Frodo. I think his name's like uh, Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Yeah. Flipper's got it's got Elijah Wood in it. He's like this kid. I don't. It's been a while since I've seen it actually, but he is like working for this old, older guy. I think like this just beach shack living dude or whatever. And he runs into this dolphin while he's like out swimming one day. That's just really, really nice. And the dolphin saves his life from a hammerhead shark like two or three times, I think, during the movie. Yeah, it just like, like slams it slams into the side of the shark. Yeah, it's like you only have to do that once. No, it, it, there. I think there's at least two instances, but I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I thought hammerhead sharks swam in like packs of like fifty. No, that they do when they migrate, but okay, not all the time though. Yeah, but I don't know the I, the shape of their head always blew my mind and then now that i since i grew up and watched shark week and like learned more about them and how they actually use their weird you know, ass their, eyes their head, yeah like how they're basically like sonar tracking everything and like they can only look in side directions which makes sense but <laughs> i don't know i just think they're cool looking and i think like the silhouette of a hammerhead shark is one of the coolest things on the planet yeah, Doesn't you ever seen Shark Tales? <clears throat> yes. Hammerheads yeah. are cool in that too. I was also mm, gonna yeah, ask. Did anyone ever watch that movie, A Dolphin's Tale? Yes, I love that movie. I, I, really think I, did. I never watched it, and I heard it sucked. But it was it was oh, good. No, no, oh, no, I watched Dolphin Tale. Well, the one where the dolphin didn't have a tail, and they saved yeah, it they in the aquarium. Prosthetic tail on it. Yeah, is that the yeah, one you're I talking about? That, yeah, I heard that sucked. I like that movie. It's a true story. You could go on there. You can go online and look at look at his live cam right now and see that one swimming in the tank. Really? Yeah. I, I might have to watch it then. I it's mean, it's cool. a kids movie. It's it's a straight up kids movie. Yeah. But is it a real dolphin in the movie, or was it like CGI dolphin? Uh, that's actually a good question. I think it's a real dolphin. I wonder if they use the same dolphin to like make the movie. <laughs> The dolphin got really messed up. They just took the prosthetic off for the movie. Yeah, (laughs) just made him suffer for those scenes. (laughs) What was his crown? No, I said. I said, did the dolphin go to acting school and did he win an Oscar? (laughs) He should have. They should have Oscars for animals in movies. That would be cool. Did they not? That'd be cool. Like, like for like well-trained animals, like when you train tigers and shit for movies. Yeah. Like, if a tiger does a good job learning, he should get an Oscar. And the they Oscars an like animal the choice awards. Snake. Well, sometimes they might not get it. Like, think about like if they have a think about a movie about a dog, right? Mm-hmm. And then they oh, have yeah. like a really well trained dog, right? And then they just kill it at the end of the movie as part of the plot. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's gotta. Hopefully, these dogs aren't. They don't take <laughs> acting that in depth with the animals, where they're like, "All right, it's your time, Fido." Well, I don't think they would. Okay, I don't think I, they I think actually they, kill the animal. They wouldn't kill the animals unless it was like a tiger on set that just like got really pissed off one day on set and is like, I'm going to eat you, bro. And then they might shoot that tiger or at least knock it out. They would probably put it to sleep first, right? They, they would probably shoot the sleep dog. I don't think they would just put a bullet between his eyes. Well, is Twink, is it, would a Trank dart be, would, would a Trank, <laughs> yeah, would, twink. Would, would a trank dart be instantaneous? Like, would it would it put it to sleep immediately? Because a tiger be could deal a lot of damage, elephant. you know, for a few minutes. If it's an elephant, I, if I'm dart, being dart. honest, I don't know how quickly trank darts work. But my like, only knowledge know. of them is my only knowledge of them is old school. When I was like, "That's a, that's the best trank gun on the market." You better be careful with that. You go, <laughs> so the you gotta right. board your neck. You, crazy, but... you gotta, you gotta, hey, you need, you should pull, you should pull that out. Pull what out? The dart, <laughs> man. You gotta, 
Dart in your neck. <laughs> you're crazy, man. I like you. I but like you, but you're but, crazy. But you're crazy. <laughs> he goes, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. That was awesome. I got it just in case one of these little ponies likes to lose their mind. <laughs> he yanks on the, like, the, the, the pony. Pulls the leash. <laughs> it's just a little, like, pet pony. <laughs> Oh, I love uh, that. the horse is just like, bro, what the fuck? But I said, oh, I said, man. I said manta rays and jellyfish, but I'm not going to consider it a jellyfish like an animal. I would say probably my favorite sea animal is probably an orca, any type of whale, mm. I think, but orcas in general, I think. Orcas, they'll, they scare me because they will eat your ass, you know, like, nah, not really. Oh, yeah, talk to the people that work at SeaWorld, bro. Yeah, bro, that's <laughs> SeaWorld. Where they keep the orcas. They probably like deserve yes. to get eaten. No, I'm just so kidding. Those, I'm not really. So I'm just orcas those, and those, keep them in a very tiny tank with nowhere the, to swim around. Yeah, I understand, but listen, those orcas at a like a whatever kind of connection they have with these people, right? Now imagine you're a regular person in the ocean. This orca has no connection to you. He's gonna eat you, dude. He's no, gonna eat I you. Actually, I actually don't think that there is any recorded case of orcas attacking humans. Well, because no one usually slims, slims, swims in the water by the orcas because they live up north, right? Where the water's really cold. So no one really swims there. Has anyone ever gotten sucked up by like an actual whale? I've always wondered that. Like, uh, Nemo that has. Out? Okay, well, <laughs> I mean an actual human being, not, not, a, not a clownfish with a defective okay. fin. Oh, yeah, did y'all see the video or the, the video of like the humpback whale like accidentally eating that kayak. kayaker? And I was yeah. actually wrong. Nemo yeah, wasn't the one. It. it was it was Dory it was and Marlin. uh yeah, Marlin, yeah. But, yeah. No, yeah, I was gonna mention that the, the guy that was out kayaking and that like huge humpback whale just surfaced and was like, mm. Did it hit him? Yeah. He yeah, was right he, next like, to it was, him. He was like eating something. No, it came up and like his kayak was in the whale's mouth, and then the whale just. Like, you know what voiceover they should put over that? That whale comes to the surf, and it's like, "What's your name?" <laughs> what? Good. What's your name, Tony? You, Tony. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> uh, I did. But, like, I didn't know he was in the, in the mouth of it. I thought it was like beside him. No, I'm pretty sure it went in his mouth. But I think whales like, like they have like those big like gills. I don't know if you can call them gills. In their and they're, they're teeth, uh, but I've, they're like fiber, though. Yeah. yeah they, like, are you talking about their like brush, like, the bristles that are in yeah, their, it's mouth? Like, uh, their mouth? Yeah. They, like, well, yeah, because like, because they, they you out if you know what they yeah what they do is they take a whole mouthful of water and then blow it out the front, right? Uh, it's more of a filter, so they're only getting the. I think they just open their mouth and suck in water and shoot out water. Like, yeah, like they open their mouth and take a whole big mouthful, right? And then they've got the bristles in their mouth. And then do they like push the the water back out the front through the bristles and the bristles stop all the food in their mouth, right? Probably. It's yeah, kind of like that how they do it. I mean, we're, we're both mammals. So it's kind of like you taking a big uh, thing of water, like a big mouthful of water underwater. Uh, I guess. Like through my teeth. Like, no, that's yeah, exactly probably. what happens because that's what happens in Finding Nemo. Yeah. As he opens the mouth and they all, that's what I'm saying. Could you imagine how terrifying that would be if you were just like, swimming off the side of your boat or some shit and this whale just went and just <laughs> opened its mouth and you i mean you can't do it it's just gonna you're gonna fall in where there's no water yeah you'll yeah. drown or die in stomach acid right via like, via a whale stomach because it's not gonna yeah, shoot you out the teeth yeah I think, no. you gotta hope I you land in that you can't cut hole, your like, way out you can't cut your i mean you you gotta hope you can grab that uh, that uh, areola in the back of the throat. Okay. What is that thing it's called? Areola. What, is that? areola. what thing is that thing called? A, a it's not an areola. I know it's not. I would say as a that more isn't as a, a joke. Isn't it a yeah. uvula? Uvula. I think that's yeah, close. I think that's close. If it's not it, that's it's uvula. I know areola is <laughs> the thing around your nipple. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the different colored skin around your nipple. <laughs> I know yeah. what the areola is. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I was just you just, gotta punch, you just gotta punch your way out, dude. Like I don't think it works. I think getting swallowed by an animal doesn't work like it does in the movies. Like if you got swallowed by a whale, I don't think it's like a volcano where you just hit the stomach acid and you're like Psh, and you just like start no, it'd be very away. slow and painful. I don't yeah, think it would, would I don't think it would I think it would you would have to sit in there for a very long time for it to even do anything to you. I so think I you would drown. Might, I mean I you would suffocate first, right? You would suffocate. I believe, 
Can you? I believe you might be able to punch your way out. I don't think no. you could. <laughs> no. You might be able to claw your way think out. About, think about this, right? Think but could about... you suffocate? Would you suffocate first, Randall, do you think? I think you would run out of air, yes. I think yeah. you would. Okay, whales are very large. I, I assume you'd have a very large amount of air Okay, supply. but think about it like this. Let's think about it like this. Let's just consider the fact that, I don't know, like a, a roach or a grasshopper is about the same scale, right, for us. Sure. For like a humpback whale. You know what no I mean? No way. No, it's not. No, no way, no, no, is no. it? What would be the size, you know, if you scaled it down, like if, like a mouse. if you... Compared a to mouse, me, maybe this drink, right? No. No, f- yeah. dude, I'm a humpback whale? You're not the size Those of a humpback like, whale's head, Andrew. Okay. Those things are like 75, 80 feet, dude. Like this? Like a mouse, yes. I would say well, almost even no, smaller even than that. that. I'm talking not a computer mouse, like a mouse mouse. A baby mouse. Like a baby mouse. Meese. I, I might would agree with that. I might would agree with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so think about if you yeah, were if you to... Ate a, if you ate a live baby mouse, I think you could escape before it died. No. Well, first of all, I think it would no. bite the shit out of your mouth before you had a chance to do anything. But if you got it down into the stomach acid, no way, dude. I think, I think once it was in the stomach acid, it would chew out the side of your stomach, bro. No, I think it would just find a way out through external tube. No, you would not want to eat a live mouse. I'm telling you, I think you would be in the ER in very critical condition because that thing would eat its way out of your stomach. But look, I don't see, look, look, I don't Andrew. see one, I don't see one of us going inside of a whale's stomach and just going, "All right, I see, I see what you did I to me." Bet. Listen, I'm just chewing, I'm chewing our way out. You know what I mean? Bro, a mouse will do that. Jaw trying to chew out I, of the I don't see, yeah. I don't, I don't see us doing that. You know I'm what I mean? Saying, think yeah. about, I'm just saying, think about like. I, I would I think grasshopper. That's just what I think, but whatever. Just think about think, swallowing a well, grasshopper. A big grasshopper is probably a, a good comparison. Like, I just want to think say about something swallowing like... a grasshopper. It would die in your stomach once it got there. No, it's got a very good. It's got a very strong ecto skeleton, so it would die. <laughs> as far as swallowing a mouse, I believe if a gerbil can make its way up, <laughs> a mouse can make its way out. it would die. <laughs> it would make its way up back through my mouth. No, I said if a gerbil can make its way up, a mouse can make its way down. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, you know? It would find a way out of your body. It would come out of your body somehow. I believe it I would. Think. I don't think a mouse would die. Would. I'm just saying. But would it come out of the body? Stomach acid, Sean. Sean, sure, Sean I'll, I'll give you $100 to eat a mouse. Stomach Alive? acid? St- yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stomach acid is strong unless... We're talking about corn. Yes. Doesn't digest corn. But human tissue, you're getting digested. But dude, you could I could throw up stomach acid on my on my hand right now and it's not like it would eat my hand away. I'm not saying it's gonna happen in like five seconds. It's gonna happen over the course of like five to six hours. Yeah, yeah. you can make your way out in that time. No f- no. no. You would suffocate, dog. You would have no oh. oxygen. You got a lot. Of, it's a big stomach, man. You don't keep air in your stomach. It's a large stomach with no air circulation. You keep air in your yeah, lungs, right? dog. Yeah. You're yeah, not in the lungs. In they ate stomach. you in the stomach. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're all right still. It's a big area. It's like literally going into your garage and turning your truck on. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's yeah, literally you, what it's like. It still because, takes a couple a couple hours, you know. But but so there was still, it's like going in your garage. It's like going in your garage that has no oxygen in it in the first place, and then standing in it. Well, it have a little bit in there. It would have the amount when you open the door to go in there and then close the door again. That's the oxygen that came in with you. Yeah, and you can find your way out of the truck in that amount of time. That's all okay. I'm saying. <laughs> no. I'm just saying, I'm confident in my ability that I can make it outside of a whale's stomach. Do? What are you going to do? Swim dive. down and just swim through the anus? This, this is this absolutely, is why... Absolutely. This, <laughs> you're going to get lodged in there, bro. No, this, man. Guys, this it's is... This is right wide open. It's fucking... <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You at least give it a shot. Listen, I don't want, I don't want a big podcast audience for any other reason <laughs> than to be able to place questions like this on our Twitter and see what people say. 
Just like have people vote, you know? Like I want to try it, man. That's all this I'm saying. Is, we have a question like this every episode. I mean, I'm not saying that I would get swallowed and just sit there and give up. I would try, <laughs> but I don't think it would happen. That's what I thought you were saying. That's what I thought I you were know. saying. Like, bro, you could at least try to get out. Like, no, fingers, cro- fingers crossed I've got a buoy knife on me and I can cut my way out of that thing. But uh, until that's what I'm saying. Hey, where, push comes to shove, I'll rip a tooth out and tie it to something that I find in that stomach yeah. acid. Just saw my way out of it. <laughs> You gotta have a belt on or something. You got sho- maybe. Yeah, uh, you might have. You probably don't have shoes on. You probably wouldn't have belt, a belt. A belt, either. maybe a belt. Uh, I mean, you could take the you could take the string out of your uh, bed suit. I, ideally, I'm them, scuba diving. Rope. So I've got scuba di- scuba gear. You know what I mean? So you do have a little bit of oxygen, right? I, ideally, yes. But the thing and, is, you know, am I, am I and, cutting through that yeah. stomach lining with that flipper? Probably. Well. If Probably you're usually not, dude, but I mean, you might if you get real close with it, you know. Man, I don't know. Would that so flipper funny. though? <laughs> what? What? What that flipper do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine taking the continual. Let's say, let's say I have enough in enough air inside the swell stomach to throw a continuous one thousand punches. You think I could get out somehow? No, <laughs> like through the side. No. no. Imagine someone throwing a continuous one thousand punches to the exact same spot on your body. It would break the bones or bruise the muscles that are there, right? But it's not going to like put a hole in my body. Yeah, it but might... I'm, th- I'm thinking of you're, you're not break considering scale. Am I? Has anyone you're ever considering experienced that? scale? So, yeah, I am considering scale. Think no. about the size of a whale. You're applying more pressure with your smaller think, fist. But think about a mouse, a baby mouse, punching you in the same spot repeatedly a thousand times. I think I would at least True. throw. True. No, you wouldn't. But no, if he chewed, no, if he chewed would, out of your stomach, shimmy or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, shimmy ooh. and get that thing back down into the stomach acid. You yeah, just, you, you'd take another sip up. of your, you'd take another sip of your drink, you know, like bring it back down. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, none of us ever have that problem. Yeah. I don't know. I've just never you, heard any stories about people being swallowed by whales. By whales. Well, never... but an orca is different. An orca will eat you, dude. I don't think orcas well, yeah, ever. They eat chew you. I'm just, I'm just talking about straight up. Bro, my buddy was just out floating. <laughs> like, we were trying to catch some waves. I look over and a humpback just sucked him up, bro. That was it. <laughs> I saw him and then I didn't see him no more. <laughs> How to get away with murder season 14. Like, I never saw him, bro. I didn't. Well, even <clears throat> even the orcas at SeaWorld, they didn't eat the people. It's not like they ate them for fun. They just took like, their leg or something. They but... just drowned them. Like they pulled them. It's like they pull them underwater and they just keep them underwater until they drown. It's not like they ate them. And they just yeah, what's funny go. is they do it like it's a toy. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like having fun with it. They're like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. no. they that's, why, that's what the dolphins are just laughing. That's what's going on. That's not. Yeah. They're just. <laughs> the high, the high have you, have you ever swam with dolphins? No. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's a really cool it's experience. Fun. It's fun to do. I would. It's like, it's like 130 bucks just to swim with some dolphins. Probably not in Mexico. Right really, in Mexico. really, really. Not honestly, like, think about it. Like, yeah. like, uh, would I pay one hundred thirty dollars back in the day to go swim with some dolphins? No, but like nowadays, one hundred thirty dollars. I mean, like, it's not cheap, but it's not that expensive for the experience you're getting. You could probably you swim with dolphins it. for a hundred bucks. Like, really, I take it. I go to I'm Six Flags for six hundred. You know what I mean? If you knew like, enough people for one hundred thirty dollars, I bet you could find a dolphin guy. They could get you a dolphin. You, that, just, you buy a dolphin. You just for buy free. a dolphin. <clears throat> yeah, I want to no, have a I want to have an aquarium at my house, like a really good size aquarium, and have like a shark in it. Would you have a dolphin in there too, just to see what happens? No, no, because a dolphin is like a like a hyper intelligent animal, and I wouldn't want to keep it in like an enclosed space like that. But a, a shark, I'm just gonna give him food whenever he wants food. You know, here's a fish. So what you're saying is sharks are fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, compared to dolphins, yeah, yeah, basically. But orcas like are the dolphin orcas is like are Bill Gates like and the shark is me. Well, orcas no, because Bill Gates are more dolphins is than friends with uh, Jeffrey Epstein, so <clears throat> Elon Musk is the dolphin. Okay, well, to be fair, there's a lot of really <laughs> creepy, rapey dolphins out there. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. Have you seen some of these videos, bro? Yes, you are correct. I, I, if, a matter of fact, if I had a dolphin, dolphin. I would name him Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> Dolphin Week isn't on uh, Discovery Channel. It's on HBO <laughs> After Dark. <laughs> it's on the hub. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, but orcas are more like dolphins than they are whales. Yes. I believe that. Yeah. I think they're they, actually considered like well, they're, they're part of the dolphin what? family or whatever, right? Whatever yeah. that is. I think that yeah. is. <clears throat> yeah, that is true. I'd, I'd, I'm pretty sure I remember hearing that somewhere. But dude. Have you seen how they do like the bubbles? I think we've talked about this. Like the bubbles yes, the where fish. they it, like brings all the fish. Yeah, yeah. Or they'll mm-hmm. like they'll they'll like uh, charge if like there's like a seal or a sea lion like on a big block of ice. They'll charge at it and flip their tail and like yeah, and make it, and make it unconscious. Out. Yeah, or yeah, and they'll like throw their freaking food in the air like to play with it. Like they'll play yeah. catch with the seal. Like throw it to each other. Yeah, they so, uh, like, orcas are <laughs> orcas are just us. Yeah. Exactly. They, yeah. Hey yo, catch this steak, dog. <laughs> I bet you I could throw a football over those mountains. Yeah. <laughs> bet you How I far throw you think I could throw this T-bone? Yeah. <laughs> How far do you think I could throw this chicken leg, bro? <clears throat> I don't think I've ever played that game. <laughs> but I'm not saying I wouldn't. No, no, the the the, the orcas are just adolescent humans that are in the uh, the cafeteria starting a food fight, <laughs> just throwing Maybe mashed what, potatoes and stuff. What is it? What it? Uh, who believes in reincarnation? Is that Hinduism? Uh, yes, that's the Hindus. Yeah, maybe that's what. Maybe they're kind of right, and we all just turn into orcas when we die, and that's why, or dolphins. And that's why they seem to be so smart. I think that's the Hindus, right? It's not the Buddhists. I don't think it. But maybe both, but I think Hindu I think Hindu is. I think they're the ones that are more reincarnation oriented, yeah. right? But I would be totally fine with turning into a dolphin. Oh, me better too. Than, I would. Better than being like a chihuahua or something. Dolphins you know? are the only animals uh, that have sex for pleasure. So, uh, yeah. And so, not me and Andrew. Not me and Andrew. Humans. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You know, I, dolphin would be a pretty cool thing to be. Plus, you could swim in the water for as long as you want. I love scuba diving, so I think I would love to be a dolphin. I refuse to believe that we're the those are the only two species on the planet that have sex for pleasure. This reminds I would, me. Of, I would think monkeys would really too. You familiar. know, I would think monkeys would. Monkeys are pretty smart. Is that I have seen more random ass rhinos just mount up and have sex in the middle of nowhere. And I've never even been to Africa, bro. I've seen that say, more on Discovery Channel yeah, than you anything. With, you see it with the you see you see it with the cows in my dad's back pasture. But the thing is, I they're legitimately trying to have kids every time. They're trying to get the female pregnant because they've got hor- they smell the hormones like the female's ready to be pregnant, and so they they go over there and they try and get them pregnant. That's what they do. I just not dolphins. To believe it. Not dolphins. Dolphins. Whenever <laughs> they don't care. Animals that do that are just, just. I think that's proof of low intelligence. <clears throat> like animals like, that do what? That just be like, <laughs> oh yeah, yep. <laughs> that one's ready. You know, yeah. like I think I think that's a sign of low intelligence in animals. I just look, man. I don't know. As a man, I refuse to believe that it's only. It's there's only a meaning behind it. Well, I don't have proof. I don't have have proof to kind of argue. I just heard it somewhere, so I can't. Yeah. I'm not. Tell I'm you not you're a, wrong. I'm not. A I mean, I'm not saying that I've ever been in a situation where I've been like, you know, obviously I wouldn't do something like that, but I've never been in a situation where the girl was like, "Hey, let's," you know, <laughs> I'm 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 ready or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> And I wasn't just like, oh, okay. But also, guys are just kind of down whenever. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, think about going to the club, right? It's like you're you're 10 drinks deep at the club, and you're like, hey, you ready to reproduce? Yeah. <laughs> like, and that's the only pickup line you needed? That's, that, that, I think that proves my point, that it's a sign of low intelligence in animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, maybe. I just, I don't know. I, yeah, I, maybe monkeys. I'd... I, I would think monkeys might would be another one. I would think, but they say dolphins are the only other ones. There's a lot of monkeys out there. Because dolphins, they'll like <laughs> like chimpanzees. So they'll rub anything. up. They'll rub up against coral and stuff. Like just a, you know. who is the who is the worst species of monkey? Who is the worst lay out of all of them? Orangutans. The worst layout. Lay. 
Who's worse? Oh, who's the, worst, the worst species of monkey in bed. I thought, you said, I thought you said here's the worst layout. Like I don't, I don't know. Call of Duty. Or I don't. I don't know. I, you see, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. So you've got gorillas, right? And they're just these big macho men. So they they might be pretty bad because if you apparently they have the smallest male parts genitalia per size per cap out of any out of any out of any no out of any ape species so orangutans though i could see them being they, they might invent something like a you know they like to swing they could do like a sex swing kind of thing mm. you know so they might be a they might be a fun lay right and then the chimpanzees are just they're crazy so <laughs> <laughs> the chip i can see the chimpanzees doing some kind of like brothel situation thing like they get a whole thing set up you gotta pay to get in like yeah, you gotta pay like four oranges to get yeah. in here. Ten bananas to enter like, <laughs> hey yo this part of uh planet of the apes wasn't in there i must have missed this part <laughs> yeah that's we, there with the we should make a point. documentary we should get video recorders and make a documentary and just like <laughs> and this oh is the God. And this is Chester. He <laughs> owns owns the ape brothel. God, you want to know what's gross is that I know people would watch that for the wrong reasons. Oh, yeah. God, stop, I know they bro. Would. Come on, so this is all jokes, bro. This is all jokes. <laughs> you know it's yeah, true. You've been you know sucked, dude. You've been sucked. <laughs> oh, God, I hate us. <laughs> Man. Mm. You can't make those noises right after we talk about that. I, well, I was making it because of the beer. Yeah, the beer is pretty good. Okay, so where are we drinking this beer at? Mm. Uh, I'm not. You're not? It didn't get better after the second one? No. I'm still, I'm still not a sour fan, but... it's. It, I mean... It could be worse. I mean, I, I bet you we'll have a, a sour that sucks on here. Hey, you all I'm saying is, even for the Dragon's Milk episode, I gave an example of where I'll drink it at. Okay, um... Where I would be drinking this is at a beach bar, and the guy's like, I'm like, what's your favorite drink? And I'm asking the bartender. The bartender's a weird guy. He's been talking to me all night, and I know he's a weird guy. He's like, oh, I like the dogfish head. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good ale made out of this place. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'll try it. But he doesn't tell me it's a sour, and so I get this beer by accident, and I'm drinking it. But I tolerate it because I'm at the beach. You give, it the, you give the guy the fake approval? Yeah, I'm like, thanks, like, man, hey, good suggestion. Like it? It's like awesome. It? And it's Good. only awesome because I've had rum since 11 a.m. and it's like 9 p.m. at night. So <laughs> yeah. it's, I'm like, yeah, man, it's great. I, well, I yeah. feel like it has to be daytime out when you're drinking this beer, in my personal opinion. I, I agree. Like you don't drink beer at night. I feel like you drink this. This is a day drinking beer. You, it's definitely not a. I, I mean, you do need to drink it during the day, but I wouldn't call it a day drinking beer because when I think of a day drinking beer, I have 12 at least of those. No, not a day drinking beer in the sense of like, hey, we're waking up at 10 in the morning and we're day drinking all day. Like a beer you drink while the sun is in the sky. If you were to have like six or seven sours, would it really actually like upset your stomach? Do you think? You have to be careful with sours. Yes. That's unfortunate. Because I could probably drink like eight of these. Not going to lie. I mean, if your body can handle it, yeah. But in general, you need to, you know, be. I mean, it's just like anything sour. You don't want to overdo anything that's sour. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I so, Randy, you go. You go next. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, I really, I don't really get like a the podcast a, 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 a specific vibe. <laughs> I don't get a, get a specific vibe from this beer. I uh, I think like definitely during the day, like when the sun's up, and I'm probably having like three of these max at that point. Um, I think this is a pregame beer for me. So this is the first three beers I'm drinking out of you know where, wherever I'm going or what I'm gonna do for the day. Um. And for some reason, I keep coming around that like I'm at a fair. You know what I mean? It almost like a, gives like a state fair or something. Kind of, yeah. County fair, like yeah, but like I cause kind of that pickle pop vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just kind of like fairish or like carnivalish to me, I guess. When I get that I kind that. of yeah, 
I guess that's like, the lime or something. I don't know. You just bought one of these for nine dollars at the fair, like. So you can only have three of them because that's all you can afford. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's no you only want to have three. Why would you? That's one thing I also don't understand. Why would you want to make a beer that you could only have a couple of? I could drink a lot of these. I think I would. Be but you very, would have very, an upset very, stomach, dude. That's what we just said. You have to watch how many you have. I think I can handle I it. I think. I'm not I think I can sure. I think. Be all right. Uh, but I think I would be very dehydrated. Oh yeah. Because of the salt would, and stuff. You would want some yeah. water, dude. Yeah. Like the salt in the lime, I think I'd be the most dehydrated person. Listen, dude, I'm just saying you pair this with like a corn dog from the fair or like a yeah. chicken Sammy, you know what I mean? This would go good with a chicken sandwich. Bruh. I'm saying. No, nah. no. I'm saying if uh, this is just in my personal opinion, I bet Andrew is going to totally disagree with me on this. He might not, but uh, for any of our. Well, let me say this. I think I would love to have some of these float in the river. Ooh. I don't think that's bad at all. I I, I mean, I do because I don't like the really sour, but Ooh. I think that's a good that's a good place to be drinking the beer. I agree with that. You got any out-of-state listeners uh, outside of the state of Texas? Uh, I don't know. I don't know any other rivers just because I've not been raised in any other states, but right here... Guadalupe, Frio, mm. uh, mm. get get on a tube, drink maybe six of these. Maybe I don't know. You maybe drink like four, and then you switch to hard liquor. Yeah, and that's then, not bad. Uh, <laughs> you, <know. laughs> you drink like four of these, and you start considering death. You know. That's... Yeah. I think I think that's where I would want to drink these. I think I might buy some more of these next time I go. That's a yeah. That's I can vibe with that. That's that's it's a not good. Giving me like a, yeah. It's not giving me like a beach vibe but it's definitely sunny and I'm somewhere close to or on water. Okay, you know? well, look, what I'll do is I'll bring the four extra I have to our river trip in a couple months. Absolutely, you do that. Just, just for y'all, just not for it. me. Just for oh, y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. I like it. sounds like a plan. Yeah, I really like it, too. And I'm keeping it at 9.1. Okay, you're going to keep it at 9.1? Yeah. Are I'm we at that time to... already? Yeah. We are. Jesus. Okay. I'm gonna I got lost in the orca conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna conversation raise never about orcas. <sighs> right. I'm gonna raise mine from eight point three to just to eight point five. So not a huge uh rating change, but I have a slight buzz. I I always I mean I need to like eat the same thing before we record every time because I feel like sometimes the thing I eat absorbs more alcohol, so I don't get as drunk. And then, like, yeah, you know. yeah, oh, but, yeah. I had chicken, I had chicken for mission before this, so I'm absorbing yeah. all the alcohol. You had yeah. what? Chicken parmesan. Oh, that sounds amazing, dude. That sounds awesome. It Sorry. was fantastic. I got a slight Sorry, buzz, but also I think I, I mean, when you, I don't know. When you factor in, first of all, again, like I said, I like sours in general. And when you factor in just the absolute dope can that it is i didn't even fact that in at the beginning it's so. an awesome can so i'm gonna it. give them that so 8.5 is my final rating um i'm not a fan of sours i don't think and i don't okay. think they're gonna i don't i don't think they're gonna grow on me either it's not the kind of beer that grows on me i, I don't like I, to me it feels i feel like i'm drinking a can of sour patch kids i just don't <laughs> want to do it so it's that Dallas beer. That's what it is. I rated it six point three. Six point two was your original. Six point two. Um, just give it a six point three, six. just because you said it. Six. <laughs> six. Yeah. Man, Andrew, I think you need to come back to this in like a week and try. Nah, again. nah, nah. I think. Listen, I know you're not gonna want to, but I think what we need to do is just get you to try some different sours, and we'll. We'll just see if it grows on you. I don't think it sours, man. I think I need a uh, a stout. I like stouts. They're, they I, I, they growing on me. Stouts probably, are. That, mm. probably the flavor of that jewel makes it in with the flavor of the beer. Throw no, no, no. I, 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 I didn't start in this till after the beer. And it's just the leftover from this weekend of the cook-off. Other, uh, other than that, I do not, I do not like it. Mm. Uh -huh. You know what I do like? What's that? Our socials. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, if everyone go because follow the socials. I, 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 I'll be honest with you. I do love our socials because Randall, I don't know if Sean has a part in running them. I, I haven't touched our socials, and they're spot on. And that's probably either. why they're spot on, because I haven't touched them. So. I haven't either. <laughs> it's hard but, keeping up with all of it. But. but you do a fantastic job. You really do. I give you props on that. So y'all need to go and follow our podcast Twitter. But Randall's run the Randall's running it and it's perfect. It is. Yeah. And that's it's uh at what is it, Randall? Uh the Twitter is at off the tap pod. Uh that's also the TikTok and everything else is off the tap podcast. So Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And the mm-hmm. website is off the tap podcast dot com. Um I'm I'm we're still working on getting the, the website up to date, but we're getting there. Things are progressing, but uh, and all, all I gotta say is, if, at least go check one of them out. Doesn't matter which one it is. Go check one of them out. You don't have to follow, or you don't have to follow, donate, click on anything, whatever. Just a, at least go check one of them out. See if you like it. Answer some poll questions we got on the Twitter or something like we're that. We're gonna, we're gonna. Well, that's what I'm saying. As soon as this stuff grow, grows a little bit, where we've got you know, a hundred people listening to it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start logging in and posting questions because I have a question that I want people's perspective on every podcast now. <laughs> yeah, what well, is this one? If you could, if you could get out of a whale's stomach. If you can get out of a whale's stomach, yes, you can, or no, you can't. Those are the, believe, those are the questions. I believe that should be a much more debated topic than it is. And I think we should be about it. With no, with no weapon. I feel. I don't know. It just depends you know, on the person at that point. I think gonna, Randy Macho Man Savage could punch out of a whale's stomach. One, one, oh, one, one final question I also have that I was hearing debated the other day is, do you think if you were face-to-face with an alligator, you could kill the alligator? Depends. De- de- yeah, whatever. I won't. I've, seen, I've, I've seen people hold the mouth shut, but then how do you kill it after that? If what you have, ran, no, weapon, what ran we you have no weapon. Two different no weapon. Questions. We no weapon. Do I kill it, or do I just have to get away? The question that I had was, if you if you're holding the mouth right and the mouth shut, and you could either run from it, or can I you mean, choke kill out an alligator? I don't know that you. I don't. I don't know that you can. But uh, you think you could put an alligator in that type of headlock to kill it? <laughs> put an alligator in a sleeper hold, bro. I mean, I've seen Steve <laughs> Irwin do it. I'm just wondering, like, you know, like how if you did not have a weapon, how would you kill an alligator? Like, if I didn't have a weapon and I was face to face with a kangaroo, like, uh, well, I, I could figure out a way to kill a kangaroo. Well, you know, just alligator. To, like, how do you like kill an alligator? It depends on any ter- what terrain you're on. I was going to say because historically, historically, the way humans did things a long time ago is you can run an animal to death. Like antelopes, you can. Because they don't sweat. They ex- expel heat from their body from their breathing. So you can run an animal to death. And that's how like people would hunt back in the old times. You know, so I'm Notice sure stuff, run, dude. I'm sure you can run an alligator to death. <laughs> how do you know that an antelope doesn't sweat? He watches Antelope Week on Animal Planet. <laughs> I was there. I, I was the one that told everybody how to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, sure you could, I'm sure you could outrun an alligator. Because alligators like don't have to eat that often. That's why they're so lazy. You see them like hanging out in the sun. They don't move very much. If I'm s- at least six feet away from an alligator and I saw him first and got the jump, him or her, I saw it first and I got the jump first, I would outrun it. If I was six to eight feet from an alligator and it saw me first and jumped at me first, I'm fucked. That's it. But what if I'm you're six <laughs> from the alligator? <laughs> what am I? What if I'm six choice? inches? No, but say you manage to get its mouth closed because like apparently they're not as strong at opening the mouth as closing it yeah they have a super yeah. powerful bite but they don't have a, a lot of power so, opening their mouth so so I you can like... hold their mouth shut probably with, maybe with one hand but it, if it takes two i mean you're screwed but if I... you could hold it with one hand like you just start wailing on its eyes with your other hand like what what you how you kill it choke out i think i would try to choke it out <laughs> but then like it just crawls in the water and like goes underwater and you have to hold your breath and then now, but now you're punching it in the eye. It's gonna crawl into the water. But I'm now, but, but now, look, no. But like, if you get on its back and you've got a chokehold, and it's like, screw this guy, and it runs into the water. I'm putting now you're in it. 
now it's in you're in its environment right and so if if it's gonna go underwater you're gonna be able to hold your breath for a certain amount of time okay so alligators can hold their breath for like 30 minutes now you have to let you have to yeah you have to let go of the alligator right and you're in the water now you're in the water now and he gonna eat you and and he's got maybe (laughs) he's got maybe 10 20 friends out there (laughs) look all i'm saying is that i don't have to put my all my weight on its back though you know what I mean? You're like, just like I, I can. Get you're just saying like stand on the and I'm cl- and then I close the mouth and I grab the choke and I stand up. <laughs> oh oh oh! Hey, that hey, might be you're taking like a side mount or something like that. Might be that might be the way right there. No, I'm talking. I'm like and its legs are just hug. like yeah. I'm full <laughs> bear hug on the back. I close the mouth up. And I'm laying on the on the on the mouth right to try to keep it compressed yeah. with the one hand on the on the bottom and I'm with my right arm because that's my strong side wrapping around the neck and then I pull back and get up on my knees or my yeah. feet or something okay and I kinda, right. that's what I would do that's, that's that not a move I got. Choke, like, yeah pretty got... much and then I would just bah, undertaker you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> you just tombstone the alligator like <laughs> just tombstone that bitch you, you, put, you put a Lucha Libre mask on and hold the alligator up and just 619 around a tree and just drop take it right to the, like, the bottom of the, the neck what uh, happens if you put an alligator on its back is it just like completely effed it's like, a turtle, <laughs> like, it's like just sitting here doing this and it can't well, I don't know. I'm saying alligators have really sharp claws and really powerful tails, and they could roll over a bunch of times. So I think it could roll continuously until you eventually let go. Oh, it would roll. Yeah, you're right. I'm saying I'm saying you're taking the wrong approach. I'm saying you. I'm saying you close the mouth, and you just gently start rubbing its stomach. <laughs> you just caress the stomach area right here. Maybe you make it fall in love with you. Maybe That's scratch you... its neck a little bit, and you just you just sing in its ear a little bit, and you just slowly you slowly seduce it into a deep sleep. <laughs> I don't think violence is the answer. Okay, well, get it, but getting away, yeah. But I thought the whole question was, could you kill an alligator if you had to? That's that's what the question yeah, but, is. Yeah, but you have to kill it while it's awake. <laughs> so you're gonna run away and go grab a weapon and come back and stab it? You get a really, you get a really sharp stick. <laughs> what you gotta do is go out ten. I'm assuming you're in by some freshwater source. You know, it may be on a bank of a lake or something. You just I'm assuming you're off the coast of South Africa, Africa, coming up against a full grown. You just walk okay. and grab it. You walk and grab a big stick and just whack it around on top of the head. Well, uh, I'll tell you one thing. If you ever fight an alligator and you're not getting dirty, you're not winning. <laughs> you're, not getting, you're not getting far from that event. Yeah. <laughs> you think you could peg on an alligator? 